things, you know, get out of hand somehow. And that taught me that you need to give value. You need to do whatever you want to do and give value to others. And that kind of made me change my whole perspective on the way I look at life. Um, sometimes we have opportunities in our hands that we don't really appreciate. We have things that we don't honor. We have people around us that we don't cherish. And once we lose them, then we realize that, oh my God, I, 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 I lost. So uh, this is why uh, my training company, I'm going to scrap that. It's not going to be a corporate training company. So, sorry for people who do corporate training. Uh, I know some in the room. Uh, basically, what we want to do is we want to start working with kids. So our target is to start to work with kids from the age of three and above, helping them on things like uh, entrepreneurship, uh, innovation, coding, uh, internet of things, finding the reasons of whatever they want to do. Like I remember in our culture, and I, ha I see many similar cultures in the room, where people, when, when we're kids, we are always taught, you need to go to school, study, become the first on your class, get all A's so that you can enter to, into university and study to become either a doctor, an engineer, a lawyer, or a pharmacist. And then once you graduate, you need to go and find a job so that you can get married. So this is kind of the, the target that was all in our heads. But there is more to life than that. And you also, I, I sat with my friend's sister the other day. We were dropping her to school. And uh, she's graduating this year. I was like, hey, so what do you want to study next year? She said, MassCom. I'm like, yeah, MassCom. What's MassCom? I, I don't know. There's something called MassCom. Anyone knows what's MassCom? Mass yeah, communication. Mass communication. So these are the cool people in the room. Uh, okay, so I, was, I realized, oh, so mass communication, cool. Why do you want to study mass communication? So I well, it's cool. Uh, I uh, get me a good job and I'll buy a Jaguar. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, and after a series of dropping them to school every day in the morning, uh, she actually one day said, you know what? I don't want to do mass communication anymore. I want to do something different. Like, so what do you want to do? She's like, I'm exploring. So this is, this is what I want people to, to do. They want to start, first of all, by knowing what skills they have. And this doesn't apply only to teenagers and kids. This applies to us. I need to know what I'm good at, what skills I have, not what people tell me that I'm good at. So what you're really good at, and then what are the other opportunities that are out there? Um, my mom discovered that she wants to become an artist at the, artist at the age of 50. For a very long time, I lived with this woman at home, and I never knew she was an artist. Yeah, she drew Ninja Turtles in my room and put them on the wall, but I never expected her to be an, an artist. So this is something that we also want to target, which is we, we want to really empower women. Women are not exceptional. I have to say that women are not an exception. A successful woman is an example of many others. If we say exceptional, this means this is an exception. Well, no, they're all amazing. And this is just an example of a successful woman, and there are many other successful, successful women. So this, these are the things that we want to um, kind of start working on. Uh, going back to the story of the little kid, so you need to explore what, and, and kids, they need to explore what potential they have and what's the potential around them. What are the opportunities? If you want to study to become uh, uh, a dancer, why not? If you want to study to become a race car driver, hell yes, you know? If that's what you want, it's not what... I have three kids, I have three boys, and my wife is standing over there. Um, I don't want to tell my, my kids what to do. I want them to explore what, what they want. Let them test. That's what my dad did with me. I said, Dad, I want to play football. So he buys me Argentina, Brazil, and football, and he said, hey, go play football. And I tell him, you know what, I want fishing. You can go buy me the rod and help me do the bait and everything. Then I tell him, you know what, but I, I like cars. So, oh, hey, let's go karting. And he didn't get sick of that, and he kept on, until I found what I wanted to do. So you would need to help them do whatever they want to do, and this is what I'm trying to do. If I continue talking, I'm not going to stop. So I'm really going to cut it here and say, thank you, everyone. Have a good night. Be good to each other.